Hello, and welcome back for more NASCAR Legends. I've been requested, requestified for a tutorial through the paint shop. So let's go and dig into that because it's part of the game in this one, not a separate program like in NASCAR 1. And it will also give me a chance to show off my new set of wheels. Yes, I built this myself, made this paint shop all by myself with all the cool stuff on it. Let's look at the paint shop. I got the Lockheed, everything, that's the L1011 Widemobile. How do you like that? I got the little stickers for the various airlines <laughs> instead of sponsors. So this is what I'm going to be rolling on, rolling with, as when I restart my season, which you will see shortly because of, I'll explain it better when it happens. Okay. Anyway, let's not uh, deface our beautiful L1011 wide mobile. Let's go back and let's edit somebody else's car. So we'll take a little tutorial of the how this how the paint shop works. Oh, one other person. I one other thing I did. I whoops, not player info. No, no, no. Driver info. I did recreate the Dukes of Hazard car, complete with the flag that shall not be mentioned. Apparently, Uncle Jesse Racing. I just thought it would look so appropriate. See, look at that. Doesn't it look nice? Okay. I thought I would uh, put some put some interesting paint schemes in here to make to liven up my NASCAR legends. Anyway, let's not destroy that. Let's go to Jess Ham, and we'll start to play around with him. Okay. Here is your workshop, basically. Now, let's see the. The cursor is a little bit difficult to see. Whoops, no, that's not gonna help. That's a zoom in. That's an escape. No. Ah, uh, is there a better cursor looking? See, the cursor turns into a little tiny little reticule, so I hope you can see that. Anyway, this is the NASCAR Legend paint shop. So, here is your nose cone for the aerodynamic package if you are running on the uh hey, this is Uncle Jesse's uh if you're running on a fast track a uh, speedway you will have this will be you can paint out of the nose cone there otherwise it will be not there so before I mention too much you can also do, do, do. If you have a Ford, you have a different thing, okay? I'll show that a little bit different. I'll show that uh, a little bit later. So let's go with the Plymouth Roadrunner and the Dodge Charger combination. Dodge Daytona, in this case. So you got your aerodynamic nose cone. This is your fender about there. Let's zoom in on so we can see what we're looking at. Various decals for your sponsors. You can include or disclude that. Now, one of the things that is interesting to me is that the instead of actually making a text, uh, making a polygon for the inlets for the little uh, uh, what would you call? Yeah, I guess we call it inlets. They don't actually let air in, but the little indents on the door frame is uh, modeled in the texture. So when you're playing around with that, you might want to keep those intact so it it makes the it keeps the uh, thematic looking way for your car so that it doesn't look like it's flat sided. Let's see, I could show you an example of that. Um, let's see. I do 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 do. Take a spot here. Here, just cover this up. And now, if you exit, 
It changes. Yes. See, now it doesn't look like it's uh, textured anymore. See that? So, you should be careful about that. I just ruined that guy's paint scheme. Always try to mix your colors. But don't worry, we can get that back. Probably. Well, maybe not. You can select things from the other side and flip them like this. Use the selection tool and then rotate. So it's not exactly what we want to do. No. You can rotate them in any direction like this or this or this or this. But what we want to do is to flip it like this. Not like that's a uh, flip, uh, flip uh, horizontal, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. A flip vertical. And if you do like that, kind of you line up just perfectly on the door, the door indentation. You can see it just a little darker part right there, uh, and you slide it right up there. Whoop. And uh, well. His numbers backwards, but you get the idea. That's how that works. So you want to keep those uh, that sort of color scheme in general when you're changing your, your paint scheme to give it that texture. Otherwise, it's going to look like it's flat-sided and all all cruddy looking. Anyway, so this is the rest of the card. You can see the door. Here. There used to be a door handle here, but I obfuscated it. There's not one on the passenger side. You can see it on the driver's side. Let's uh, grab another car and I'll show you that. Yes. Um, maybe not. Tiny tractors, eh? Uh, some of them have them, some of them don't. Anyway. So, it's got this garage shading with various nice uh, dithering textures. Or, not textures, colors. It makes it look pretty. So you can maintain that or you can not maintain that. There's the fuel thing. You can keep that if you'd like, and the bumper is modeled on also in texture form in paint shop. Also down here is your wing for the uh, Superbird cars, the wing cars. You can put anything you want on your wing that'll show up there. And then basically everything else Let's see, there's your hood. The hood is consistent from both models. And it rolls along the side here. See, some of these cars, back in these days, let's see, go back to, uh, whoops, can't really see it. Back in those days, let's see, if I can make it rotate a little bit better and so I can show off what I'm talking about. They wrote their names, whoops, on the side, uh, the uh, uh, side of the door, on the windowsill there, instead of on the roof like they do now in NASCAR. So you can do that, or you can choose not to do that. You've got this radiator grill. Also, this is another one of the things you might want to keep when you're changing colors. You've got a wide range of various colors so let's try let me demonstrate how you would let's try painting it to green we'll make this part green 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 and you'll notice oh, that it fills in different spots so sometimes you don't have all the necessary colors. Let's see, we've got four types of greens. So, let's use a darker green here, 
maintain that illusion of texturization. Put some green there. That should be good. See, there's a lot more blue. A lot more blue hues than there are greens, so we kind of have to fudge it a little bit. That's okay. Kind of like this. Now see, there's the itsy bitsy parts in here. Gotta be real careful. Always make sure to know where your undo command is. I should probably be using the uh, point by point thing here for that. It can be a painstaking process, but you can paint your cars to look like whatever you like. And it's always good to maintain that sort of thematic uh, yeah. thematic uh, uh, running theme to make them all look nice. Take a while, but that's what you get. Okay. Let's see, and then we have some let's have a darker green. And finish off the rest of this. See we missed a couple of spots before. Usually any kind of color contrast will work and look fine as long as there's a difference in shading of some kind it makes it uh, look, look uh, better not there nope. maybe not like that no I should use the here's your paint uh, picker tool pick a color like that make that match like that fill in the little gaps the numbers or 26 cubic inches. You can keep that if you want or not. It's up to you. Just kind of make it line up with our various colors and when there's just a bit of just that much difference it shows up anyway. You don't need to make uh, light gray or uh, light blue to the same shade of light green in this instance. Just as long as there's a contrast, it will look fine. Finish off these little pieces here. Obfuscate that one. A couple of uh, guys in here. Looking for anything that's sort of blue. See, there's some light blue there, so I should try to match that. Some of these with. Whoops. You can only undo one at a time, so be careful to undo that pixel there, but I can't. Spoiled it. So I want to match that light green, and there's another palette of green over here. Let's use this color green to make it nice and shade in with our new color scheme there. Use the paint bucket there. It's very hard to tell the difference between these colors. Let's use the paint bucket because there's a couple of gaps here. Very carefully. It can take some time to get what you want, but if you are really into the game and 
really get some cool stuff out of it. And it's a real great sense of accomplishment once you have done that. Let's see. There's a little, little bit darker blue here. Match that up with a darker green. Slightly darker green. But that, and that, and that. Oops! And that. Yeah, that looks good. I just got the hood, the uh, grill to take care of. Put some green in there. As long as you make a contrast, it looks nice. Oops. Gotta be very careful though. Okay. Light green. Kind of green. Dark green. Not. Oops. That's the same color as the hood, so let's not use that green there. Let's use uh, this green. Oh, there's very little difference, but it's there. Just enough that you could see. Oops. Undo. Now the paint dropper tool, if it's in a line like this, it will drop the paint only from where it's underneath. So see where it is green here, or uh, it's white here? You drop it like this. See, it doesn't fill in that white spot there. So keep that in mind when you're painting your stock cars. That's only when it's in a single line like that. Oops. Undo. And there's a couple of little bits. Oh, and the guy's name, huh? going to make these all one color. Just to give it that nice contrast. Make it the same on the other side. Oh, there you go. Oop. Paint too much. Just like that. Uh, not like that, though. some blue down there, so I'll use the darkest green, darkest green over here. Oh! Every time I make a misstep, I hear the, uh, the whammy sound from Press Your Luck in my head. <laughs> it amuses me. Okay, let's dump uh, these colors in here. Yeah, there's a lot of little, little pieces in here. So it can take some time. Just paint those happy little grills. Grills, grills, grills. Rockin' in Atlanta at Tattle Tills. Use a different kind of green right here. Use a light green here, I suppose. Let's go point by point, one after another. Oops. Dot after another. Just like it's Pac-Man. Waka 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 waka. Right there and there. And there and there and there and there. Now our grill is nice and green. Hmm, 
let's zoom out so we can zoom in a little bit better. Location. Now see the roof here. You might not even notice it, actually. If you went to the, let's see, the underbody shop, you might not even notice that it's used to be blue. See, look at how nice that looks. Nice the green color looks in there. How about that? So, but if you're a real stickler to detail, then you'd want to go and uh, chisel out the light green parts here. So let's do that. Ooh, that's not, hmm, that's almost white. Let's use a, something that's actually green. Oops! Just point by point. Of course, if you want to change the number of the car, you would need to bring in your own numbers. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, undo. Actually, I'm just gonna, gonna half-arse it here, because this is pretty much, uh, you get the idea here. Pick the larger spots that are bluish still and turn them into green. Make it nicer. Use a little darker green now. This one works pretty well because blue and green are close to each other in the color palette. I'm doing that thing again. So it's not too bad, but if you had a bigger difference, you would be you would have to be more careful about these things. I'm even gonna just leave his name like it is. Okay, and we'll go to the trunk. Where's the color picker tool? Dump like that. Make sure we zoom in on an appropriate place. Dump it again. Fill in those spots. Use a darker green for accenting purposes. Just kind of put it around those numbers to make it look nicer. Use a lighter green here. Like so. Right about here. Oh, can I? There we go. I feel like Luke trying to find the exhaust port on the <laughs> Death Star. Gotta be real careful. Now, this is only in the interior or the uh, internal program. Be good. There's other ways you can do it. You can barely tell the difference between those blues and greens. Can you make uh, dark green, I guess? Oops. Keep that black. There we go. Okay. Oh, a little spot right there, huh? No. I said a little spot. Not the whole friggin' thing. There we go. Okay. So now we have our... Oh, yeah, and there's the front of the car, too. But anyway, that is how you would recolor a car without doing too much damage to the textures that would be 
in it. So, you notice there's the little hood scoops and these things around here. So, hmm. the color does not seem to work on this. Or does it? Okay. So this is the strange part. You kind of just sort of guess where your things are. Okay. Like that. See, there doesn't seem to be... See, there's a bit down here that's still blue. I can't figure out where that is coming from. And there, in NASCAR 2 and NASCAR 3, there was a better thing here. See, because you can click on this and make stuff happen, but there's no picture that you're actually... You know, I this is a little bit broken. Unfortunately, I can't see the button. There we go. <laughs> You might have to uh, troubleshoot uh, your way and pixel hunt around like that, poking and stuff. It shouldn't be dark, dark gray, uh, dark uh, green for the hood scoops. I just there we go. That's better. go ahead and save because it's looking pretty nice. Go back to the detail shop. What else can we do? So there's the front also. Should uh, take care of that. With our green. It doesn't really matter which order you do it in. As so long as it looks nice. And the contrast will make it look more texturized and pretty. Something like that. See, that misses the little pixel there because of the paint way the paint bucket tool works. I don't know why that is. Fill that in. Last bit. Hmm, there we go. Nice evergreen colors there. Oops. Be very careful with the mouse. Don't want to click too many times. Undo. Undo, man. small little pieces. This is the uh, where the uh, headlights would be. They're covered up in the aero package. Aerodynamic package. So for this for the Superbird cars for the Daytona and the Roadrunner these are the nose, the uh, top nose pieces on the hood. And this would be where the uh, headlights would be. And when you're on a short track or otherwise not requiring, this would be the part that would be showing. So make sure you get both parts to get the best looking car that you want. So many little tiny bits of okay. Do 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 do. Clicky clicky. Oh, so close. Very careful. 
The idea is to try and maintain some contrast in colors because when it does it like that, it gives it a more three-dimensional look to it when you're in the actual game, making it look less flat. Oops. Ah, oh, come on. Tiny little pieces here. I'll get rid of them. So unfortunately, you can't do a palette swap, which would be nice if they had it. You could change one color to another, but I will mention that in a moment. Also, you can do, if you're particularly interested in it. Not the part I wanted. We're just tackling the internal paint shop for now. I'll pick a different color green. Let me drop these last. Did I pick white? No, I didn't want to pick white. Just the last of the pieces. Okay, there we go. The 128 car has gone from blue to green. Doesn't she look good for that? names part, but I don't want to fiddle with that. So that's basically the ins and outs of it. Also, there's the back end. So this is the top. This is this is your trunk. Uh, what would you call it? The trunk end. And then the bumper. You can put a license plate in there, too. I actually did that for the... Uh, let me show you that. Save and exit. I did that for the Duke boys. Put their uh, license plate in there. <laughs> Put the General Lee on there and everything. Yep, so that's how you operate the paint shop, pretty much. Let's see what other th things you can do. You can do some stamps. There are some various decals that you can use you want to bring them in, click on that, and you would just put that uh, on your car there. A couple of pre-made ones, lots of little tiny sponsor looking decals if you want to make it look more authentic. Various chocolate smelling salts, eh? Carver City Steakhouse. He carved her up good! Or Sierra. So you can put that on your car if you'd like. Those are the preset ones. You right click on that to make that happen. Otherwise, you left click on it to make something to, to uh, select uh, something you've already painted or already selected from the copy thing. You have text, which doesn't always uh, look very good. See, it kind of looks crumbly a different couple of fonts in there. Yeah, that's great. And it's at a fixed size, so you don't really get too much to play with there, unfortunately. Draw a rectangle, the lines, this button, I don't know what it is. This is the smudge, that's a bigger brush anchor thing. And a single pixel clicker. You can also set your wheel color to different things. Whatever you would like, that will change your colors. And 
then in the underbody shop, as I'd mentioned, you pick the various... These are the colors that the game uses for flat shading places that aren't textured on the car. So, that's where that comes in. Make sure to set those up. And unfortunately, in this version, you don't get to set your pit crew's uniform colors like you do in NASCAR 2 and 3 and etc. So, we're gonna not save changes because I made a big mess. I think that's just about everything. Let's take a look at a Ford, though. So for the Fords, it's pretty much the same thing. This is... I'm not sure what the... what this green wedge is. Um, and there's the front. Front for speedways, and the front for short tracks. And you have a longer nose for speedways, and a shorter one for short tracks. That's the only difference. Rail. And... If you are particularly interested in doing some major modifications, you can also export your uh, paint shop works to the desktop export and it will go to a place that I don't remember so I'll have to look that up when I am <laughs> afterwards anyway that's pretty much how you operate the paint shop you can do all kinds of cool stuff. It's just very painstaking and slow, but you can make all kinds of cool stuff. Let's take a look at my car again. This is so cool. Look at that. See, I've got the British Airways livery on the wings. So, I'll be starting up NASCAR Legends again soon. Hope you enjoy that going to be doing it in a different fashion than I was before, so I'll explain that when I get to that. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Hopefully this is entertaining as well as informative. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. You can also interact with me on Twitter and Facebook at L1011WideBody. And if you'd like, you can pledge to sponsor me at patreon.com forward slash L1011WideBody.